Tonight on Geekology, my memory doesn't work. His is failing, and even the big SD card can't go. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi, and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Spam. And tonight we're going to be reviewing Star Trek, the official Starships collection by Igamos, issue 144 and 145. You've been waiting for this one for a long time. What? Yeah, it's probably one of the few alien ships I should imagine you want in your collection. To be fair, I'm not that bothered with it, but... I thought you liked the episode. I, I you... do. Yeah. You're just not that bummed up ship with the ship. Oh, then, well, well, it's you... not a ship, is it? Will you crack on with the magazine? It's a life form. Life form. Life form. one four four is so so Tinmaya, but I'd still like one. Tin Man. Tin Man. Otherwise known as Gone To. This is where you need an oversensitive um, empath. Uh, no, actually, it would be. Well, she's, he's a betazoid, isn't he? It's a full betazoid, so it wouldn't be an empath. An oversensitive of betazoid. Yes. Um, type Living Starship. Abilities telepathic. Length to 600 metres. Uh, weapon is an energy pulse. Probably an EM pulse. They put a piece of metal on the inside. <laughs> just weight it down. To weight it. Oh, that's um, just funny. This is how you put it on the stand. That's hard. Clock. Um, Born thousands of years ago. Well, that's descriptive. Well, that Thanks was, that. to be fair, the best description yeah. we had. Crew, several humanoids, normally. <laughs> Don't you put normally? Right. But, yeah, because in the episode nine. But, <laughs> yeah. um, propulsion, warp capable, weaponry, energy pulse. If it wasn't warp capable, it'd be stuck in the same solar system for... Anyway. Yeah, but... Yeah. CG it shot off go, the vessel. Can go, yeah. I'm going to go with vessel. Ships probably We're going to go with vessel. vessel. Yes, because you can put I'm sorry. in the vessel. I'm sorry, no, that's, you're, you're mistaken. It's a vessel. <laughs> Is it a nuclear vessel? It's a vessel. Okay. Is it across the bay? No, I'll leave it. Show me the other uh, docks on the stand, will you? Because I'm, I'm not 100% sure which one. That way is up, isn't it? <laughs> yes, because that's where the bridge is. Yeah, that's where the bridge is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's really not helpful for telling you which way around. No, that that isn't. But <laughs> to that be fair, is. um, there we go. A couple of thing, a couple of shots from the episode. Um, Tam Albrum, there we go. Who turned up in you know, the same actor? Who are, names names escapes me. Um, turned up in Enterprise as one of the members of the government of the United Earth, didn't he? I don't know. Did he? Yes. You know the episode where there was the. Um, the Earth First yes. group. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was the, the. You know I'm not great with that. Topographical view. Life form. Not a little life form. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would like you to notice that on this beautiful CG carapace, there is not a walking white line going straight down the centre. Mm. Just going to point that out. Okay. Um. Designing gone to, okay. But again, with a hole, it's got a, a ship inside with a life form around the outside originally. Okay. Season three costume design. In other yes. words, let's get the uniforms right this time, <laughs> and not give everybody back pain and prose. Um, it's quite cool. I am Wolf. I am Weasel. Um, <laughs> cool. Um, there we go, and obviously in the episode Not a bad Mac. Mac. Not a bad Mac. It's a Mac, but it's not bad. It's Mac. Right. Okay. <clears throat> I can see what they're going for. <laughs> I can see what they're going for, but they missed. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what to say. I mean, this big that join line is hideous all the way around it. I'm not sure how else they do it, but oh, well, I know exactly how they use do this it. as a join line. Yeah, and also, don't you think this is just lazy moulding? Because this is a solid ridge, flat solid ridge all the way around. It's not layered. Be reasonable. No, I am being reasonable. There, there are several ways that could have been moulded that would have given it a nice little in ridge all the way around so you wouldn't have had to make this paint line quite so gaudy 
it could have been recessed in nicer and also if they'd have put the join mold the join line say yeah, in that crease all the way around they could have molded it in that way top and bottom got all the ridges in jobs are good hmm fair enough so i'm going with sloppy molding on this one they've gone for a typical top and bottom mold yeah which yeah okay whatever but for this ship that's not how it should have been done in my opinion fair enough also, don't like the feel of it. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. yeah, it's 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 a bit strange, isn't it? And that that stands not right. It's it, it it's not a it's not a Bonaventure and Enterprise F cock up, but it's not great. Yeah, I still haven't heard about space. Oh. Um, damn it! I'm gonna have to write to them again. I'm very underwhelmed. Yeah, it's getting a solid four. Hmm. I'm not being too harsh with the four. I, I was going to give it a five. Okay. The join well, line. The I mean, I'm underwhelmed with how it's been done, but the join line is terrible, and I and I dislike the fact that they've put metal or something on the inside to give it weight. Just do the damn thing as plastic. Hmm. So yeah, I'm not not feeling the joy. I have to admit, I saw this in the shops. I actually saw it in a Dorit Smith's. Mm. I had to look at it mm. and didn't buy it. Mm. What does that tell you? Yep, there you go. Because if I saw a Federation Starship in the shop, it would have come home with me. If I'd have seen a ship that. If you find little lost ships, do you take them back? I take them off. Okay. And put them on the shelf. Okay, so you're giving it a five, I'm yeah. giving it a four. It's just meh. <sighs> with the side order of meh. And the weird thing is, it's, not it's one I of the ships that when they announced it, I was like, yeah. It's not something I probably would have chosen to do. Really? Mm. Okay. Should we move on to uh, another ship you wouldn't have chosen to yep. do? Yep. Okay then. There you go. The Nightingale. Which is technically not right, but we'll go with that. Isn't it? No, because Harry Kim called it the Nightingale. It wasn't the Nightingale to begin with. Yeah, but he called it it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the Federation designation for it, therefore. Technically. Technically. Did he put a report in? Guessing he did, it's Harry Kim. Um, length 320 metres, launched in 24th century, crew 56, weapons phase. So they basically took a Federation fighter and blew it up to get 56 people on board. They had to, it's a bit bigger than it was designed to be originally, let's be honest. Operated, operated by the Cradle and Harry Kim. Well, we uh, medical transport, in operation 2370s, location Delta Quadrant, length 320 metres, and so on and so forth. This is how you put it on your stand, the same way, shockingly, as the last version of this mould. In between the engines. Um, CG shot of the ship, which is definitely not from the episode. No, definitely not. There's a shot from the episode. Yeah. Um, yes. Shots from the episode. Da, 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 da. Topographical view! Oh, what's in the topographical view? Well, at first it was giving away the fact that the warp missiles were one of the things that, we, that was really added on in. Um, we've got your import engines. They've that. done a nice it's job with that. Yeah, it's alright. Bridge detail, which looks like part of the QE2. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fuel and consumables reply, supply detail. Oh, for our American viewers, the QE2 is a. Uh, they know. 
They've okay. watched Star Trek Next Generation, the neutral zone, when it was explained. Okay. Right. <laughs> what is comment Q2? section below? <laughs> and Data replied, it was an ocean <laughs> Um Which must have annoyed uh, so Patrick. So he was like, had to ask the question. He was like, don't, don't know. Um, there we go, shots of the ship, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, designing the night scale. We took a Federation flight room mixed with it. Um, Garrett, Garrett Wong on Harry Kim. There we go. It's behind the stuff as usual. Da, 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 da. And yes, yeah, shockingly, it was in the episode Nightingale. Didn't see that coming. Besides. Shiny ball thing. Mm. There we go. Looking forward to the shiny ball thing. Hello, Nightingale. Or oh, hello nurse, whichever you prefer. Um, the buzzards are plastic inlays. They are. Um, you know the problem with this? I hated the normal version. I know, but try and get past that. Look at the level of detail. That is, that is yeah. a lot of detail, to be fair. I'm um, going to give them the due. They did a decent job with this one. Yeah. Look how what well they hit. Look how well they hit the join. That's line. very cleverly done. Oh damn! This is dope. this is this is well done. Yeah. Ah. Um. It's really well done. How dare you really really do a, a ship I don't like really well? So I had to score it highly. Yeah. Damn you, Eagle Moss. Damn you. Um. Well, I'm going for a nine. Okay, I won't go that far. Well, I think they've done a really really good job on it. of Star Trek, the official Starship Collection by Eagle Moss, issue 145. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking part two. Why are clothes changed? part one and why is the layout changed? And, Where's the poster's and, cost? And, and, and why, why does David look slightly more tired and haggard than normal? And the issue is that Sven, nom nom nom, offended the camera. The camera went, totally. sod you, I'm not going to record this part of the footage and we didn't notice because we are Constant professionals. <laughs> yes. Although I have definitely heard you've been called something beginning with C, professional. So yeah. Mm -hmm. it's true, it's true. So um, so Sven, when the footage cut out, where have we got to? Uh, we got to the bit where we were about to score it. Oh, okay. Well, this one actually scores really well. Um, the the coloration. Mm -hmm. the, the yellow tinges there and the blue I thought were really nice the level of detail was good the the engine blocks engine blocks yeah 
technical definition. Let's go with warp nacelle windows and buzzard ram scoops are, are good, although there isn't actually a, a, a no, window for that, but still the perspex piece is there. I like this ship, I do like I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't like the ship, sod the ship, but the execution of the ship is not, bad at is, is not bad at all, and it's getting a solid eight and a half out of me. Okay. So, what was... Re, re, oh, and the other thing I, I liked about it was the, the drawing line was yeah, incredibly right, well hidden. Yeah, drawing line on it, yeah. Um, I'm going to give it an 8. You're giving um, it an 8? Yeah. I mean, is, it's not is, that, is that due to your absolute love and joy of this particular ship? Is, no, is it one you've been along with? No, it's just because it's fairly well done, I, but it's not something that would join in my collection. Really? Yeah. You've, you've not laid no, uh, late at night again, you know what I need. Mean. No, I mean, yeah, shot no. move, no. No? Okay. But I haven't got a space dock yet, so, you know. Well, yeah. And I need a space dock. Yeah. <laughs> I like the fact that you... Ordered a space yeah. dock. Where, where did you order a space dock from? Oh, so? from the from the Eagle Moss webshop. Would it be from the official Eagle Moss? Yes, 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 it would. And did you get a confirmation email saying, "This is thank you for your order." Yes, yes. And then I got the other items that were ordered, and not the space dock. Oh, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure the comps and professionals and told you exactly when you'd be receiving not such an item. No, and they've stopped replying to me. Did you look at it the same way you looked at the camera? <laughs> Is this what you did? Did you look at the camera? No. <clears throat> Rude. Okay, so Eagle Moss's customer care being... A bit crap. Okay. It's gone downhill a bit in the last year, hasn't it? <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to find it very hard to say anything positive. Yeah, fair enough. Um, this, oh, they started off well. and I don't know what... Were, I think somewhere along the line there's been a shift or a change in policy or in... In personnel, but things over there are that. Um, yeah, no. no. Yeah, that's that's my technical definition. Whilst at meetings, <clears throat> yes, I do believe you'll find it. Mm, yum, yum, no. Mm, yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. So, right. Well, just ask Detective Mittens. I actually um, have no idea what footage. I'm just going with the fact that Spencer. As far as I know, this could just be a giant wind up, and this could be the longest blooper in history. But I'm going to assume it's not. And on the assumption that it's not, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching bits of our video. Uh, <laughs> if you have any comments that aren't about the quality of our filming style, we'd love to read those, so leave them in the comment section below. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. There is the Geekology page on Facebook where you get to see lovely, lovely Maybe Geekology images. the group. Geekology the group page. Yes, yeah. it's not a page. Yeah, no, you That's need cool. a whole group. There's a group. Yeah, yeah, the pages do that. Okay. Alright. Oh, right. And of course, there's also our Patreon account, so uh, check that out. All the links are down below. Thank you for watching, and good night. Bye. Bye. Okay, Sven, so do me a favour, don't look directly at the camera because that obviously offends it. It doesn't yeah. like recording your face. Clearly. And that's what it is, is it? You know, you know the ship, the Riker's beard? If we had one called the Sven's beard, it would be automatically into a planet surface. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to part two of um, Star Trek, the official Starships collection by Geekology, issue 145. By Geekology. <laughs> so, three, two, one. <clears throat> Tonight on Geekology, the camera forgets to film what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Dodge. <laughs> no, Geekology video is that good that even the camera can't cope. Geekology, it's a video of two halves. <laughs> <clears throat> Three, two. Okay, so why are you making noises now? That was a no girl. Just a snake. Should I be wearing a band for it? Don't know if it's not. Haven't you got to do that shot for somebody? Yeah. Actually, I need to change the shot.
I'll give you a clean edit. Okay. Oh. You know, I'm starting to think the camera's good. I don't want to turn it off. No, I'm sure you turn off when near you. Three, two. <laughs> I don't remember seeing the camera run away screaming at any point. That's <laughs> because we have bolted down. <laughs> On a fucking tripod. Should be used to me. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Gage. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say we'll give you a fresh energy there, because you're not going to be able to use it. Mm. Hello, bloopers! Da, 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 da. Three, two, 